basically his powers is basically the same thing as legendary godzilla because he's basically an alternate universe of legendary godzilla but his greatest part of all is his iq basically for example shin godzilla uh knocked back godzilla z so hard but to prevent of godzilla z landing into the ground he can use his atomic breath to learn how to fly faster than a speeding jet he can also protect himself by using his radiation to increase durability and regeneration. Of course, uh, the signature ground spikes basically to block every sh uh, beam that uh, every villain attacks and uh, to basically stab or kill an unstoppable spike. And also block Shin Godzilla's beam, aka the most powerful beam in this series. And an arm shock wave, I guess, to... Um, how do we say this? To stun and knock back villains to the ground at part 4. That was like a terrible animation. Basically, he could control his radiation to create new weapons. universe is just with his own bare strength, just to kill the other Godzillas. Wearing body parts as trophies, Gojira's skull is a battle mask, Monster vs. Goji's back is a shield, Heisei's skull is shoulder pads, etc. And he's able to store said universes just with his raw strength. Abilities, energy absorption, he can suck, up, suck all of the energy out of his rivals. Atomic fist, an attack he uses to erase universes. Calamity beam. His atomic breath, which can melt anything it touches, a Q. He's 4,000 times smarter than any supercomputer. Raw strength. Agility. He's able to dodge a Kai MG, who is 200 times faster than the speed of light. And sound. Speed. Same as agility. Atomic pulse. Pulse he uses to warp his surroundings to his will. Rah!